Hi, David from Full Proxy Labs here in the UK. Today we're going to be looking at Fortinet's SSL VPN solution using Active Directory. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is create our firewall user group. So this is a, a group that's um, local to the FortiGate itself, but it's going to be referencing our remote um, security groups within Active Directory. Um, this is the group that we'll use um, to authenticate our SSL VPN users or a subset of them. Okay, so next we'll just uh, reference our Active Directory. So we've already created a bind in a previous lab example. Um, we're just going to add in the VPN users security group um, for those that we want to authenticate to our SSL VPN. Okay, the next thing we'll do is create our VPN portal. So the portal is going to be, you can have as many portals as you like. Um, we're just going to create one specific for this uh, subset of VPN uh, remote access users that we have already identified. We're going to be using full tunnel mode, so we'll be using the 40 client and we're going to disable split tunneling for this particular example. The source IP pools um, we've created a, a ahead of time, uh, but essentially that is just the range of IP addresses that we want to dish out to our remote access users. Um, we're going to enable the 40 client download, so rather than have the um, client install the um, 40 client ahead of connecting to the VPN, they can connect to our web front end. Once they hit the portal, they can bring that 40 net client down to their machine. Um, it just means that they're going to get the, the latest and greatest version that, that we have available here on our 40 gate. So next under our SSL VPN settings, we've already had some configuration from a past lab, but essentially what we've done is replaced our one uh, listening port from 443, which is the default to 10443, and we've already included that IP address scope um, that we're going to dish out to our remote access VPN users. And the main part to take away from this bit is the, um, the allocation of the user groups and the map into the portal that we just configured. So having set that, um, our LDAP user group is now going to use that defined or that specific poll um, and the poll attributes when they connect to the VPN. Next, we'll create our IPv4 firewall policies. Um, now, we do have some policies here from previous lab examples. So what we're going to do is just copy these and through the magic of uh, the power of editing, uh, we'll do this in double quick time. Uh, but what we need to do is essentially create a policy for our tunneled um, SSL users to get to our DMZ zone so they can access our web server and also because we don't enable split tunneling all internet traffic is going to come through the v VPN and through the firewall itself so we need a, a policy to allow um, tunneled users to get out to the internet. Okay so next we'll connect to the um, the one IP address on our 10443 custom port and we'll log in with a user with active directory credentials so we'll log in with the, the common name here. So we have the option of launching 40 client. We don't actually have it installed because this is a first time user. So we're going to download it and we're on a Windows workstation. So choose the Windows option. OK, so through the power of, uh, of editing, we'll download and uh, install the 40 client. Um, we'll skip all that. Uh, all that exciting stuff and get straight to the point where we can launch the client. Okay, so we launched the client and uh, we'll pre-populate this with our um, public IP address and uh, customized port uh, listening on 10.443. Uh, we'll log in as Peter Parker, the domain credentials, and uh, give that a password, click connect. Okay, that's us successfully connected. As you can see, uh, we've been given a private IP address in that scope that we defined earlier. Right, so we'll just test it now. Uh, we need to make sure that our remote users can connect to our DMZ web server on the 150 network. So we'll just browse to that. There's no um, SSL certificate on this server, so this is fine. And we'll just test our internet access as well. Obviously, without split tunnel and enabled, everything's going through the 40 gate. So we'll try and browse to 40net.com. Where else? And we'll just have a little click around. And that looks to be good too. Okay, so now that we've got some live traffic going through our 40 gate from our VPN users, let's just do a quick refresh of this policy. And we'll take a look at the bytes column and yes we can see that we've got traffic on both of those rules that's it for this time folks please like subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more 40 videos